Greetings again and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Raspberry Pi as a webcam server. So we'll look at installing Debian from scratch and then setting it up for SSH, installing the remote client Putty and how to connect it to your device. Then we'll go on to how to install Motion and how to change the preferences and settings. To install Debian, first download it from this page. Once you've found it, you'll need a way to put it on an SD card. I use Win32 Disk Imager, which can be found here. So download it and run the program. Then browse to where you put the Debian image and select it. Check you're on the correct drive to write it to and hit write. Then hit yes. This will take about 5 minutes and when it's done you'll get a notification. Now plug the card into the Raspberry Pi and power it up. You will get the usual startup scripts and it will go straight to this screen. We'll ignore this for now by straight away selecting finish but we'll come back to it in a bit. Now before we do anything, let's just perform an update by typing sudo apt-get update. I'll speed this part up. Once it's updated, we'll go back to that screen we just dismissed by typing sudo raspi-config. zoomed in it looks something like this. To enable remote control we need to turn on SSH. So move down to SSH and hit enter then ensure it's enabled by selecting enable and pressing enter again. Then you'll get a message that it's enabled and you'll go back to the config menu again select finish to exit. Now because we changed the settings let's just reboot with the command sudo reboot. For the next step we need the device's IP address on your local network. So once it's up and running and you've logged in again you can type ifconfig which is the same as that ipconfig command in Windows. It gives you quite a bit of information but what we're interested in here is inetadr this is your Pi's address on the local network. As you can see mine is 192.168.1.82 Yours will be something similar too. So either make a note of it or leave the Pi running. With the Pi still running and logged in move over to your PC or whatever machine you want to use as the remote terminal and head over to this website. Here you can download the remote client putty once downloaded, run the application and type in that IP address into the box here. Ensure that the SSH rounder was selected and press open. It should connect straight away and it gives you this warning only once. Just say yes to it. Now log into the terminal with your Pi's username and password, which for Debian by default is Pi and Raspberry. We're now connected, and I can prove that by rebooting the Pi again. The Pi starts to close down and I lose my remote connection. While it's rebooting, I'll plug in my webcam, and I'm using a Microsoft LifeCam HD 3000, which looks something like this. You'll need a compatible device, and you can find these in the list at the eLinux wiki, which I mentioned in my first Raspberry Pi video, but there's also a link for it below. Now let's get everything back up and running, reconnect, and move on to the installation of Motion. So like before, use the command sudo apt but this time use install and type 
motion. It would detect the packages and start to download. It'll ask you if you want to use this allocated space for motion. Just say yes. Again, I'll speed this part of the video up. OK, it's done. Let's just clear the screen from here. Now we need to set up motion. First add the user into the group so you can access the webcam. So type sudo usermod-a-g pi or whatever your username is motion. And then again sudo usermod-a-g video pi. Again pi here is your username. Now move to your home directory with the command cd slash home slash pi. Make sure you put a space in like I didn't. And create the directory motion with mkdir motion. Now we're going to use chmod to change the access rights. First type chmod 775 motion. Then sudo chmod555 for the file slash etc slash motion slash motion.conf. So now we'll use nano to edit that motion.conf file. Type sudo nano slash etc slash motion slash motion dot conf these are the settings that I'm changing it to just for the demonstration but feel free to explore these settings until you get something that you like or works best with your hardware first thing to do is to turn daemon on then ensure your device is set to video zero which is the default and correct if you only have one thing plugged in. Then change the size to 640 by 480 or whatever you want. Change the frame rate from 2 to 15 or something more appropriate. Change the webcam quality to whatever you want. For now I'll up mine to 75. Turn motion on and just on a side note something I forgot to do is to change the max rate below to something other than one but it won't affect the demonstration anyway. Change local host to off. Change webcam limit to something other than zero which is unlimited. And now I don't want to record for now so I'm changing the FFmpeg settings to off. What FFmpeg does is turns the recording straight into video for you. But if you want to do this, you'll need to set your save directory for these videos. Then Control X to exit, Y to save, and Enter to confirm to overwrite the existing .conf file. Back in Terminal, you can start it up with the command motion. And as you can see from this, I actually missed something out. So I'll go back into the motion.com file again and change the process ID file, which is right at the top, to home slash pi, again if pi is your username, slash motion slash motion.pid. OK, run the command again. There we go, it's running. Now on your PC, put in that same IP address. Mine was 192.168.1.82 and then put colon 8081.
and there we go, a pretty unimpressive view of my tripod on the coffee table. Well, give it a go and mess around with the settings in the .com file. If you find something particularly good, share these settings with us. I'll also leave a link to the PDF which I loosely followed for this video. Thanks for watching everyone.